All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Living the Dream podcast. Today on the show, we're going through Proverbs 8, 32, 33. Let's get it. And now, O sons, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways, hear instruction, and be wise, and do not neglect it. Interpretation, straight off the rip, being includes doing, and wisdom includes all of us. So when I say being includes doing... I think of um, hear instruction and be wise. So first you got to hear the instruction and then be wise. Do not neglect it. When I think of neglecting instruction, I'm like, hey, do this. And then I don't do it. That's why I say that being includes doing, because when it says be wise, it is speaking to action as well. And I say as well, because my second point was that wisdom includes all of us. So hear instruction includes you got to humble yourself. You got to humble your ego to hear that instruction and then be wise. Do not neglect it. So do action that is not neglecting it. And then be wise. Now, when I think being, I'm like, it is. it just incorporates all of our being, which is our beliefs, our thoughts, our actions, our feelings, and our results. Not even really our results, but just everything that happens inside of us. Now, that's what I think of as being. And then you have the doing part of it where it's like, do not neglect it. That's the interpretation off the rip and... The entrepreneurial application of this, I think it's speaking to a couple things. The first thing I think it's speaking to is setting up your daily environment to get the right inputs. And so specifically hearing instruction, you want to make sure that your daily environment is not telling you to do something stupid or unwise. You want to be told to do something wise. The instruction you are receiving, the inputs from the content you're receiving in your life, the things you're watching, the people you're associating with, and um, the feedback you're getting from the actions you're doing right? All that should be setting you up to be more wise, not less wise. And then you want to take daily action from that point of instruction. So first you hear the instruction and then you be wise and not neglect it by acting on it. And so it's speaking to um, phase seven, which is taking daily action. And it's also speaking to phase nine of the physical and environmental health. And I want to talk about verse 32 for a little bit, which is like, I think the generating positive emotion, but also the positive thinking and abundant beliefs, really. Blessed are those who keep my ways. I think being blessed is a pretty positive thing. It makes me think positive thoughts, makes me feel positive things. And so as a blessed person, I would also believe positive things. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, right? The believing all things and hoping all things comes when you know how loved you are. And God's unconditional love is the ultimate blessing. And so that's why why um, verse 32 makes me think of like positive thinking, generating positive emotion, which is phase five. And then phase four of the kind of self-improvement entrepreneurial journey, you got to cultivate those abundant beliefs. Verse 32 makes me think of both those things. And where has this shown up in my life? I would say the podcast and the information I listen to, right? I try to curate my environment such that I'm not getting crap. And I don't really want to spend my time doing crap unless that crap is happening for a good reason. Like if I am watching TV with my wife, I don't chalk that up to watching TV. I chalk that up to, okay, this is time I reserve for my wife. And this, this is the time we, this is how we decided to spend our time together. Right. Um, so the podcasts and the information I listen to and the things I do, right. I try not to give myself the wrong inputs. And so you notice your spirit will just change. Like you can't listen to things that you used to listen to. I used to listen to Lil Wayne all the time. I just can't be listening to Lil Wayne like that no more. It just hits too different now. I'm a, and not in a positive way. I know that's usually used positively, but this is not hitting different positively. So the podcasts and information I listen to, realizing how much I'm loved. And this talks about just how blessed I am. Bruh. The God of the universe sent his only son to the cross. And Jesus died for us. And if you're Christian, if you're, if you're not Christian, there was a man named Jesus Christ who lived. As much as you believe other history, there's just as much, if not more, evidence that Jesus Christ lived and that he died on the cross, claiming that he was God. So he, Jesus is either crazy and insane and held that act all the way to the end, or there's something to what he's saying. And I take the stance that there's something to what he was saying. He died on the cross for me, knowing that I would be as crappy as I am without him and here's the thing i could be an even crappier version of myself and he still would have died specifically thinking of all the horrible things i would do and 
all the unconditional love he had for me, regardless of those horrible things and how much he just wanted me to be close to him. He went to the cross for that. With that in mind, knowing every single bad thing I would do and then dying for it out of unconditional love. Knowing that, believing in that, having faith in that, that does hit different in a positive way, unlike little Wayne. And I would say knowing my goals and taking action so I'm held accountable to further action is a way it's also shown up in my life. And so part of being wise is seeking great counsel and getting accountability. Um, so the seeking great counsel, you know, I go to Alex Ramosi. I go to people I respect in business. I try to get information from people who have done the thing before and can actually give me wise counsel. But then the accountability aspect, letting people bear burdens with me. If I'm struggling to show up consistently, I need to structure my daily actions such that other people are involved. For example, when I started ho hosting guests on the podcast, I had to show up to interview them because they were expecting to be interviewed. That's the way you can involve people in your daily action. Where do I want this to show up in my life? Not neglecting instruction. And so there are some things where it's like, you just know what you need to do when you need to do it. And we just choose not to do it because it's easy to be lackadaisical or go too hard. Like you can either be too lazy or you could be going too hard. And both are forms of self-sabotage because What's key is consistency. And if you're going too hard, you won't be consistent with it. If you're being too lackadaisical, you're not being consistent with it. And so it's um, really important to realize what can I do for an extended period of time while being able to look myself in the mirror, being able to feel good about myself, right? So I want to not neglect instruction by taking consistent action and always asking myself that question. Can I do it consistently for a year, for 10 years in the way that I'm doing it right now? So how can you guys apply this to your life? I would say get your goals, get KPIs for your goals, right? Your daily KPIs. Hear instruction, seek that instruction and mentorship. Set your daily KPIs according to that instruction and then get accountability by involving people in your action. So one more time, seek instruction and mentorship. That mentorship and instruction should give you things to do. Set your KPIs daily KPIs around those things to do, and then get accountability by involving people in your daily KPIs so that you have to show up or somebody feels gypped, somebody you left somebody behind. People are depending on you. Get that accountability in your life. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is all we got for you today. We will see you on the next one. And on that note, we're out.